We're, we're talking about concepts of uh, projection and reflection in relationships. Okay. In relationships of all. To, all, to everything, all right? Well, we have a principle that says there are no limits. And part of the concept behind that is that underlying everything, we are all connected. We are all communicating. We are all influencing each other. And so I wouldn't say it's 100% reflection. It's more like a funhouse mirror. Okay? So there are exaggerations and distortions sometimes. But basically, where you get this very strongly is those things outside of yourself that you love very much are things either that you have already and like or that you hold as an ideal, even for yourself. And those things outside of yourself that you really do not like are those things that you really don't want to do yourself or may even have a fear that you might or might have, ha might have done in the past and have changed their ways. But there's still a fear if it's something you really don't like. And sometimes the more you don't like it, curiously enough, I mean, it, when that gets very intense, the more you are drawn into doing the very same thing to stop the thing you don't like. The human mind gets crazy on when it gets into the negatives. Okay? So you know what I mean by that? Okay. It's like fighting terrorism with terrorism. Okay? Things like that. Okay? How do you come out of that? How do you come out? You, gotta, you have to stop or someone's got to stop you so that you have a chance to change your mind. Take a look at the effects you're producing and decide that's not a good thing. And if you realize what you're doing is what you're doing out there and say, how would you change that? Like, the will stop doing it. The will power sometimes... No, no, no. Careful. Excuse me. Willpower is simply your power of choice. And everybody has the power of choice. Okay? Um, if you have two things going on in, mind, in your mind at the same time, that's going to create a conflict and make it difficult. If you have a benefit from acting one way, which is generally not good, but there's an emotional benefit to it or some other type of benefit to it, then it'll be harder for you to give up if you don't have something to replace it with. See, because you, you don't get rid of habits. There's no vacuum as far as behavior goes. You have to replace one habit with another habit. And sometimes the motivation is so strong against one and for another that the switch is fast and easy. And sometimes it's a steady, plodding change because you've decided something is good and is worth the trouble. So it varies according to a lot of those factors. Yeah. But it can always be done. So you need to think of something else to replace it with a focus on this. That's right. Yes. You think of something else that you believe is better, and you do your best to keep focusing on that. Even if you have to fall down, get up, 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 make get up the last thing you do always. Okay?